Hey guys, this is MarFreak1989 aka Nintendo Door for Life and welcome back to Let's Replay Skyward Sword. It was last time- we oh god, bird. Last time we actually did the, uh, we, we defeated the next, the last, next temple and now we're just doing some missions in Skyward before we go back to the Silk Rounds. Zoom in on this. Wait. Why was that there? Okay. I said I was gonna get some more chests before I, um, go back up to Skyloft, so I wanna go get these two chests. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. So it's just these two chests up here, and they wanna go off into. Uh, why am I going off the map? Go up to these two chests, and they wanna go off to the still ground. But this time, I'm gonna keep it short and cut them out when I get there. So I'm going for this one. I'll meet you when I get there. Alright guys, we're approaching the first island with the first chassis. So I'm gonna let myself fall right on top, right about yeah. now. Ouch. So let's see. Is the chest on the bottom? Let's see. It said it was on this. Oh, okay. So let's blow this up and see what's beyond this. Okay, let's get this chest. See what this one holds. Oh, I'll definitely take that. Alright, so, um, let's see. So I'm gonna take this one off. I'm gonna go on to the next one over there. So I'll meet you there. I think I found the island. Oh, please, please fly. Okay, I think I found that thing on top of it. Would you fly? Okay, so this is the, ch the second one. See what this is? See what this chest is and then we're gonna go on. Oh, another heart, heart piece. Sweet. Alright, so we're going back to the silver ground. Oh, would you? No, 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 no. Playtime? I don't want to know what that is. Hey, anyway, let's go. Oops. <laughs> that happened. Let's try it again. Yeah. Now we're going back to the steel gloves. I'm going to check on this one. <laughs> Guys, we're here. We're about to go back down to the silk grounds and. Oh, actually, an interesting cutscene is gonna come up soon. When that time comes, we're gonna be Oh, goodness! That pog about an hour. Alright, we're about to go back in right about now. Give it a few seconds. And. Here we go! Now, this is an interesting cutscene. Something else is gonna happen. Now, as Link is falling, something interesting happens. He looks up and notices Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> Link, help! Ow! I'm glad it didn't die. Ugh, rough landing. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Link, seriously, didn't anyone. Um, ever teach you how to land without crash? Well, you grabbed them, asshole. Whoa! It's the birds, tiny birds. What? What, what are they? And what is that thing? Oh, sorry, I hit the A button. Sorry. But how? Why? What? What? Where am I? Over exaggeration much? Now this part <laughs> this looks so weird. Oh, wait, I hit the A button. This looks weird. What's going on? What's going on? Hold on for a second. What's oh jeez. Ever since Zelda banished, you've been z zipping in and out of town. Uh, hold on, I need my glasses. I cannot see that text. Give me a second. 
Sorry about that. Anyways, so um, what is going on? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town in all in all a hurry. So I figured I'd tell you you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what was with all these trees? There are so many. It's a forest. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing, if there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what is all this? So Link is explaining to him, I guess, everything. I wish they put text for Link. That'll be cool. Um, what? Whoa, you're kind of imploding my mind right now. But I think I get what you're saying. I've got this right. Zelda's down here somewhere and she's okay? She's, she's okay. W oh wow, that's so great. Duh huh. Duh huh. What? <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. You know, Link, it's sort of all right down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a fitting for this for this rug adventure wildness from now on is called Bruce Land. <laughs> No, it's called Fair and Woods. <laughs> so let me get, so let me get, so let me see if I got this right. This old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is. I see, right, Link? There's no, um, thanks for getting me here. I've got, a, I got a, I, you got, you done a good job. You can head home. <laughs> But Bruce will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. Oh, same old Bruce. <laughs> then when she gets back, I'll answer if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. And the two of us will get some quality time together. <laughs> anyway, the point is that your work here is done. I got covered. I, I got it covered from here. Now off to find the the old lady you were talking about. <coughs> Catch you later, Link. Ah, uh, he's an idiot. But now we have to go out there and go back to the sewer grounds. <laughs> Wait, how do I go back to the sewer grounds? I have no memory. Is this leaving the forest? I think it is. How do I get? I gotta get back to it. But yeah, Bruce, ugh, sometimes you just... Oh, we're going from the back. Okay, fine. Oh, this is the first... I am not looking forward to this. Huh? You gotta be kidding me, Granny. You, you're, you're, you're messing with me. Say something... Say it again, I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and doing it so, do, doing so save us as it was decided long before you were bought crying in this world. <coughs> Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that anyone's going to save Zelda is Bruce. How could it be not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, then why would I even be here? Piff, if not for the job of being the hero who... who... just who is. No. Huh? <laughs> oh, now I get it. Like, Gran Link, Granny ha has here has been trying to tell tell me you're going to be the big hero who rescues Zelda. <laughs> what a joke. Look look like I have heard so far is a bunch of blabbling about destiny. 
and that is a load of garbage. I know you. I know you. You are no hero, shrimp. Wow. Mm -hmm. Greetings, Link. You were able to catch up with Zelda. Ah, I see. So the guardian was there as well as she was. Was she? Um, the only, the one who saw by Zelda's side, known as Impa, she is being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in, in order to accomplish the, the great task destiny has been set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, the only way left is to find them. You must use, uh, you make you must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? Not really. Uh, my sense is that you have not familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well as I, and do as I say. First, push up to ready the harp and push A to repair the, sh the stream it. Good, you'll learn fast. Now for your next lesson. Focus focus and play the time pulsing of the circle of light. When the timing's right, I shall join you my voice with the harp. Listen well for this for the, the song I sing will be a great help to you in your dear, your journey. Okay, Impa has a nice voice in this game, but I'm not gonna allow on that. The music in this game is so beautiful, I'm telling you. And with that, guys, we've learned the the Ballad of the Goddess it is a mysterious melody that has been passed down from the ancient times. Oh look, the Tetris block. <laughs> With my original LP, I actually put Tetris music down. I think I got a third party for that, but yeah. The harp is hold uh, you hold is now known as the goddess harp. It is a, de is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life it has the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great stab standing before you is known as the gate of time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the other where Zelda is now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, um, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda, but you need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the great the gate from its dormant state. Through the journey you will be put in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is your faith as the chosen hero of the god. Oh god. It's- oh no. It's time. Oh no. I was dreading this. This shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. I expected the, the, this would react to your summoning the gate. I would never imagine the seal would break so quickly. Link, there will there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. I'm gonna save. Already 19 minutes. I'm gonna be cutting stuff out. So you know what? I'm gonna be ending this fight in the imprisoned once. <laughs> I dreaded this fight so much, but let's see how many times I'm gonna cry doing this. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go meet the imprisoned for the first time. 
It's just his toes. Yeah. Toes. If you like watery toes, you're gonna be in for a fight. Oh god. Toes. Just remember that. Watery toe. Gross. It just sounds gross, not gonna lie. Whoa, what, what, what's with all the shaking? It looks like a whip. The whole ground is, is, is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Ch um, check on the seal spark spike in the center of the pit. And there's nothing... This, there's nothing natural about these tremors. The monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with precaution. Let's do this! Oh god, I'm fearing this fight. <laughs> Let's do it. The only thing that sucks about this is you can't get a, um... You can't get a, uh... You can't get a heart piece for this. Which sucks, because it would be nice. Well, ready to fight him, guys? It's ready for my nightmares. <laughs> uh, I still call him the penis monster, but still, let's just get this over. First time, you just have feet. Oh god, the god. Guys, let's fight this. The in prison. How many times the is gonna get eaten? <laughs> the first time is easier. I knew it, the seal is giving way. I'll explain later. N now is not now is but now is the time for action. You must keep the beast from escaping the, that pit. It must not reach the temple. And when it after it does Oh wait, I forgot about the back toes. I forgot about that. And with that, uh, here's the gimmick of this fight. When he falls back, you have to attack that staff in his head and push it in. Like I said, if you like watery toes, you're gonna love this fight. One more time, and then he's gonna get up, he's gonna start like, crawling his way up. You gotta use the wind pits to actually... But he's on the run, so you gotta hurry keep up with him. I'm just gonna good to take this. Did you know how? Did you know how far he's gonna come up? He's gonna push the thing back out. He's gonna roar, and his toes are gonna grow back. I'm trying to find out where he's at from where I'm standing. Okay, he's not that far down. All right, so I'm gonna go back down and meet him down there. So I can see him to cut off his toes. Yeah, that sounds great to say. Oh, move! Okay, this is when he starts doing it. Uh, oh wait. Luckily the shockwaves aren't that big yet. Like the third or fourth time or maybe second, I don't know how many times time to fight him. And if you don't if you waste too much time, the toes are gonna grow back after a while. Alright. Dude, and one more time and he's going and he goes back in the seal. Alright. I'm glad you have a penis because this would be even more disturbing than it looks. So let's push that thing back in his head. Alright, one more time. He's gonna go a little further up, so I just gotta use those things. Keep up with him. He's getting a little too close there from comfort. Shit, shit, not now! Oh shit, he's too close. Get okay, no, I need to... Uh, I need to catch up because he's going to go a little faster. 
Oh shit, he's a little too close. Those shockwaves gets bigger every time. At least this way it will slow him down. Here we go. Okay, I was able to slow him down. Now I gotta get behind him quickly because it, it looks like this barely any room. All right, we did it. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, so we take out their prison. Well, what? Oh, the inside of his mouth. Oh, God, I can say a hundred things about what the inside of his mouth looks like. Ah, this is only one of many, I'm telling you right now. If you know this game, you know this is far from done with this guy. Looks a Twilight Realm all over again. Oh, the black clinkers everywhere. Yeah, I had to make a reference. <laughs> CS reference. So let's go seal this thing. Mm. Now, Link. Sh uh, strike the sealing spike with the Skyward Strike and, res and restore the seal quickly. Now let's go back down. Let's do this. Look like an idiot. Raise my arm. Alright, now I have to do this. Be careful. Oh, that is so cool. Still cool with Link. The second, the first time we fought that guy is the one first time of many. Oh my god. Oh. Nice going, Link. Though the imprison has only just begun its to work to break its bond, I am impressed you were able to restore the silk, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into the confirmate is a horror of unspeakable power. By judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. I'll say that. So you were left with, with my with left with precious little time to complete your task with, in which you have been entrusted. Return to the seal temple, Link. There's much to be to discuss. I wish you're useless as shit. <laughs> wow. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna fit once this cutscene is done, it's gonna be a long video, I'm gonna end it. As you can see, the gate is nothing more but a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rusing from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot at a holy light of your skyward strike just might do it. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, um, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you need the sword. To, the you, your sword must grow. You and your sword must grow together. 
Farron Woods of the Volcano of Nehru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in, in their peat. Only after you, your blade has been temp tempted by these three flames, fi three fires flames, you will be fully inbound with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been moving in the lyrics of the song Precious to Your People, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are the best hopes of finding the, your way to the flames. Return to Skyla, someone on the island who is is who whose knowledge is this old psalm will point in the right direction. I hate even saying this, but I guess um, you got it all figured out, Granny. Me, well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Yeah, you really are. No, no he's going to be helpful later on in the game. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, sell yourself short, my friend. You see if time that you that you have your own role to play in all this. Link, so go now. Trust and faith um, guide your feet. Your mission depends on it as it does Zelda's faith. <laughs> what? This oh my god, this video is long. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, this is Mario Freak 19 and I'm Nikita Tinder Girl for Life and see you in, in the next part.